I thought we would talk about short stories and novellas. I think that short stories are often overlooked in favor of longer works of fiction. But here is why you might be missing out by not incorporating short stories into your reading routine. Do you regularly read short stories? Well, I'm here to talk about why you might be missing out if you're not. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Redna and this is Reading by My Shelf. The very best short stories condense and intensify the entertainment and seduction value of a story because we don't have to delay the progression. The immersion is usually much more immediate and so is the gratification of a satisfactory climax. I think that number one, authors often explore the boundaries of their skill in shorter works of fiction um, because it allows them certain stylistic choices that may not other work, otherwise work in a larger body of writing. Number two, I think that short stories are a great way for you to discover new authors without committing into a full-length novel, which is good for you and the author. And number three, I think that they are a great thing to incorporate in between these larger volumes that you're reading to avoid that ever-dreaded reading slump. So I have six short stories here that I wanted to mention. These are ones that I have on my TBR and hope to get to this year. So yeah, let me just get into it. The first one is The House on the Borderland by William Hope Hodgson. This is 152 pages. It has a 3.61 rating on Goodreads. This short story was written in 1908 and it is a horror novel. It is about these two fishermen that find a journal in this old rundown like remote place and inside is the story of a madman. There is a haunted house, other dimensions, some supernatural creatures and it is supposed to be a, a pretty scary read and it is one of the early horror novels that has offered quite a bit of inspiration to some other authors. So I can't wait to get to this one. I think this one will be the first on my list to read. And it actually does say that um, this author, he was an English author and he produced a large body of work consisting of essays, short fiction, and novels spanning several over overlapping genres, including horror, fantastic fiction, and science fiction. And I've actually heard that this could also be considered fantasy. This one I have is Slade House by David Mitchell. This book is, or the short story is, 238 pages. It has a 3.81 rating on Goodreads. This was written in 2015 and has been categorized as horror and also a little science fiction. Um, there is a house in here in which you cannot leave. There are time loops and telepathy. Apparently it is multi- Thai POV, and it is full of imaginative and interesting ideas. I've heard a lot of people talk about this book, uh, and I've had it for a little while now and just have never picked it up. It is also, uh, he is also, also the author of The Bone Clocks. This next one is by one of my favorite authors of all time, Christopher Rocchio. This is a 171 page a short story. It has a 4.0 rating on Goodreads. It was written in 2020 and it is certainly science fiction. This is Crispin's story in which he has to play hero. He has to stand against the foes, against his house, and cultists who dwell in the mountain. Uh, there's Crispin. You can see that is Hadrian's brother. I... I can't wait to get to this one because I just love Christopher Rocchio's writing so much. This is also, it's, it's called number 1.5 in the series. Continuing in the same vein, I have 2.6 in the Sun Eater series. This is a 137 page short story and it has a 4.18 rating on Goodreads. It was written in 2022 and it is of course sci-fi pretty cover. And this actually follows Hadrian and he is on Thagura where he battles the Sealson as well as man's inhumanity towards other men. That seems right on target for Christi Christopher Rocchio's other works. 
I have heard good things about this and I can't wait to pick it up. Next, I have one that I've had for quite a while, several years, and that is The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. This is 147 pages. It has a 3.88 on Goodreads. It is two, number 2.5 in the King Killer Chronicles. This is Ari's tale. So if you read The Name of the Wind, then you will have been introduced to Ari, who is a girl who lives underneath the school in which uh, the main character goes to. And he befriends her in that story. And so this is her, her tale. And there's some artwork in here. Let's see if I can find some. Yeah, which I love when they do that. It just kind of is more, is a great little kind of immersive uh, effect. And the last one that I wanted to mention, I just kind of picked this up, not really knowing much about it. And apparently I'm actually missing a few because this is like the fifth in a series of greater novellas within the Malazan series. This is The Friends of Nightmaria by Steven Erickson. It's only 107 pages. It has a 3.81 on Goodreads, and it was written in 2016. It also has been said that this is kind of combines horror and comedy, and it takes place in the small kingdom of Farag and the neighboring country of Nightmaria. So that's all I really know about this. I will have to do some further investigation to see if I need to read the other short stories in this collection or if this stands on its own. I'm not very sure. So those are the six that I wanted to mention that are on my own TBR. But I was interested in finding where other short stories by that maybe are not published in a book format, but that you can find online, because I know that there are tons of authors out there who put their work, their short stories out there for free. And so here are some places to find short stories. Online, there is Narrative Magazine, The New Yorker, Tor.com, Wattpad, and American Short Fiction. And that's just naming a few. There's also Google Book Search, which provides an online full text of many books, including anthologies of short stories. There's Readsy Prompts. There is a collection of over 25,000 short stories by up and coming authors on there. Then there is Short Story Me, which has over a thousand short stories. And then Library of Short Stories, which has classic short stories and uh, including Soldier's Home by Ernest Hemingway and The Creatures That Time Forgot by Ray Bradbury. So those are just a few references if you are interested in browsing some short stories for free online. Those are certainly some good places to start. That's going to wrap it up, but I would love to hear about any short stories that you have read and loved your recommendations would mean the world to me and like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. See you again soon.